Big misconception. Heartburn. Here, you'll learn what really causes it, and we'll show you. And we'll throw in an exercise that will ease your problem immediately. Now, let's briefly explain the situation. Ina, please come and help us out. Stay standing. Conventional opinions say heartburn comes from too much stomach acid and having too much acid moving up into your food pipe, which gives you this burning sensation every time you burp. And at night, your entire esophagus feels like it's on fire because you have so much acid in there. And so many people take antacids, and then your poor body doesn't know how to react anymore because the contents of your stomach has to be acidic to do the digestive work, so everything is kind of out of whack. So what's our take on this? Very simple. Your stomach is located here and is reached via your esophagus. And this food pipe has to get through your diaphragm somehow. And exactly at the point where your food pipe goes through the diaphragm, at this point it is enclosed by your big breathing muscle. And, well, most people's diaphragm is tensed up these days, drastically shortened and with matted fascia. And when this diaphragm then exerts pressure on your esophagus, exactly where you can find this closing valve, which prevents stomach acid from moving up into your food pipe, then this closing mechanism is compromised in its function, resulting in acid reflux. Too much acid is not really the problem here, because the moment you reduce tensions there so that your food pipe can go in there unhindered with no pressure on it, everything goes back to normal. And you'll notice this right away should you have this problem. Drop us a comment if you suffer from heartburn and describe to us afterwards how this exercise helped you. Because now, we only have to take care of this tensed up breathing muscle and relax it. And how do we do that? Let's sit down next to each other by stretching our diaphragm. But what does stretching for your diaphragm mean? Stretching for your diaphragm means breathing out. When you exhale, your diaphragm moves up and, as you can see, elongates. And when you inhale, it contracts. And we don't breathe out enough. That is one of the most frequent reasons for this problem. That's why we have to exhale a lot. So we breathe in, blow out all the air through our mouth. More, 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 still more, more. And when you exhale, you'll notice how your body wants to bend over. Your body realizes how exhaling helps even more, so it tries to elongate its diaphragm by bending over. And we make good use of this fact. Breathe in deeply. Blow out all the air. And as soon as there's nothing left, drop forward between your legs and try and blow out even more air. And come up again. And since you can't exhale anymore, you'll have a stretch going. And now you simply repeat this, I say 3 to 12 times, depending on how much time you have. The more you do this, the more flexible your diaphragm will become, and the more your esophagus won't be pressed on any longer by too much pressure and tension. And the closing mechanisms that prevents stomach acid from flowing out can go back to functioning normally. And now we're going to show you a fascia rolling massage using our mini ball. And you place it directly here. Try to feel it, you too, Ina. This point where your ribs converge, you could feel this is tender. It is for most people. And you could feel the so-called xiphoid process, this small tip here. And now you place this mini ball where your ribs converge at this tip, called the xiphoid process, roll on this spot a bit and then roll off on the other side. So, you start at about two to three centimeters south of this tip along the edge of your rib cage and work your way up slowly with a lot of pressure. Since our exhaling exercises have made everything nice and soft, we can go in deep with the ball. By the way, information on the fascia massage roller set can be found by clicking up here because this ball has the perfect firmness.
You shouldn't use a wooden ball. That would be too hard. But it shouldn't be too soft either. And a tennis ball is just too big. So this ball is exactly the right size. And you go and you work on this area with spiraling motions. And in the process, you'll notice how what has been sensitive before becomes less so. And here's a little tip for you. Maybe you also have problems falling asleep and are trying to figure out how to get better sleep. Here's some good advice. Lie on your back and then take the mini ball and do these little spiraling motions and sooner or later you'll fall asleep. And don't worry, this ball here is so small and squeezy it won't bother you while you're sleeping. Exactly, with small but intensive motions. Please pass this information on. You know about our vision of helping all people to live their lives free of pain. And this burping is a problem. Entire clinics treat this problem. Entire hospitals just to get a handle on this reflux issue. Then and acids are prescribed and such. But this is a big misconception and a problem that can be solved so easily. All you have to do is do it. All you need is time and knowledge. And we supply the knowledge. So spread the news. Share this video with your friends and acquaintances on WhatsApp so lots of people get to know this. We would be happy about a thumbs up. Bye-bye.